Most brother gonna grab my car, pick it up in New Hall, and then we can go to the house. I'm nervous because I don't really let nobody drive my car. My mama said he can drive. He said he can drive. He got a license, but I'm still tripping. And I'm on his head. Let's get this done, bro. What's going on? It's Amp from Tampa. And today is moving day. So uh, I had to go to U-Haul. And I found the U-Haul on the U-Haul app. So I had to download it. There was one that was actually like right across the street from the apartment complex but they were booked because i moved on a saturday now i could have just walked across the street and got that one but then we had to drive to a different location because the one they had was booked it wasn't too far but i got there uh, once i got this u-haul all the lights were on i was like i hope this thing worked good so once we headed out my little brother drove my car which helped me out that he came and helped but i was definitely watching because i'm like i hope this boy don't tear up my car now, when we got to the house, you know, I had packed up, you know, throughout the month. So everything was pretty much already packed. It was my two little brothers, Caleb and myself. So we were going to get this done early that morning. Now, the craziest part is Caleb did not really want to help at all. So I was pretty much on his head majority of the time because he didn't want to move. We is moving. Don't be in here laying down. Let's move. That's the last time I'm gonna ask you. You not gonna lay down while everybody moving. That's the last time I'm gonna ask you. Don't let me catch you laying down. So the entire time that we were moving, you know, Caleb was just gonna relax. And I'm like, bro, they are helping us. This is our stuff. You need to help move. So after a while, I guess because it was early, he got on the ball and it was time for him to get to it. Um, I think that the move was, it was, honestly, it was still tiring, but I wouldn't say it was really hectic because I had a lot of the things packed up. Now, during the move, there were still people that were coming to get some of the items that I had listed for sale. As you can see, looking into the apartment, pretty much everything is gone. All of the large items had already been, you know, taken out. I got a small 10-inch truck because pretty much we were only taking uh, the bedroom sets. You know, like the dining room set um, and just a couple of chairs and pretty much, you know, boxes. That was it. So I had a few people that were still pulling up to grab some things. Like there was a lady that came to get these bar stools because when I took them to the other apartment, I thought that they were counter height. But they are. Uh, I thought they were bar height rather and they were counter height. So I couldn't keep them. So I ended up selling those and someone came to pick those up while we were out, you know, uh, loading the truck. started you know bringing things in so everybody was grabbing things off of the truck i want to get this done as quick as possible so we would be finished before the sun really came out and started beaming you know we in florida and it's hot it's summertime too and of all times i decided to do it during the summertime now the same time that we were coming in the maintenance guys were coming in as well there was a few things that they needed to do uh, from my understanding the owner had them to i guess they had to do a few things to the baseboards because i told you guys he remodeled the place so they came in at the same time so you had us going in and out you had the maintenance going in and out which i didn't mind because by the time we had gotten everything in i wanted to make sure everything here was done we finished the most part of it and we were exhausted once we finished. So what I did was, uh, as soon as we left the newer place, I went and took the U-Haul back. We did it all in one trip. I didn't want to keep it and, you know, add a whole lot of miles to it. Did one trip and then took it back to, uh, the U-Haul facility. Now, again, while I was driving, my little brother was behind me. So he is a new driver, so I had to keep my eye on him. And while we were driving, he jumped in front of somebody and cut somebody off in my car. I'm like, oh, my God, man. So I had to school him. Like, look, this is what you do when you follow me.
jump behind me. You gotta wait let that lady let you over. If she hit you, that would've been your fault, shit. We swung by the store to get something to drink, and then we headed back to the old apartment because uh, I just wanted to get a few more odds and ends. Uh, my little yeah. brother, he goes to school in Chicago, and he asked me he wanted some clothes. You know, if I had some extra clothes, and I have a whole lot of stuff. Y'all know Amp is always in, like, shorts and a tank top, and I'm recycling them all the time, but I have a lot of clothes that I don't really wear, so I gave a lot of them to him because I know he can use them. You know, in Chicago, it get cold, and he's in college, so I'm sure he can use them, you know, more than I could. So we got a few more things done. I want to get everything out of the wall, like the uh, brackets that hold the TV. We got back to the new place, and the first thing that I wanted to do once we got back here was put the beds up. Now, trust me, we were beat. It's just that I wanted to make sure if anything was done, the beds were done. That way, you know, I would have somewhere to sleep and Kayla would have somewhere to sleep. I could get to everything else when I had the time, as you guys will see in, you know, the newer videos. But we did get Kayla's bed put together. They helped me do that. And, again, I'm going to say it was great that they was there. You know what I'm saying? Because if I only had probably just like me and Kayla or me and just one other person, probably been a little tougher. My bed, uh, we had all the pieces to that. And the crazy thing about this is... This bed is from Ikea, and usually you need the manual to put it together. And I just remember by heart, I guess, how I put it together. So I surprised myself that we actually put this one together, and I did not use the manual at all. Probably because I had recently got it. If you look on the previous video or the previous shorts, I had put this one together. But I guess I remembered it because it wasn't, you know, too long ago. We got this one put together, and this is in my room. As you can see, the room is not as large as the other one but we got to put in um the this is more of like the box spring area it comes with these rails that are like a box spring so this was the ending part of getting that put together now before you know moving in i had everything pretty much scheduled to be here so i wanted everything done in like one day not put up but like you know everything that i needed like the internet to be set up so the box for that was at the door when we arrived i set up a bad cop to come with the washer and dryer so they were by the time we had completely finished moving we were just sitting around chilling and they were coming to drop off the washer and dryer so everything kind of fell in line so as soon as i finished uh the bed after chilling for a minute bad cop showed up and they bought the washer and dryer this is the uh lg thank you and when I went and seen it at Badcock, as you've seen in some of the shorts or in the videos, it was a, it's a newer model that they made. And it's a stackable that works good for, like, you know, apartments, condos, and things like that. And this one is a smaller apartment. The appliances were really nice, and I like how he had it modernized. And I said, you know what? I just want to make it even nicer, uh, get my own wash and dry. and didn't want to go with, like, a basic one. You know what I'm saying? Try to go upscale because I like how he had the apartment. And it's smaller, so I'm going to try to dress it up as much as I can. So they came in. And they did put it in. He showed me how to work it, you know, took all the plastic and things off of it. And I pretty much signed off on it. And that was pretty much the end of the move. You know, it was hectic. I usually hire movers and I thought that it wouldn't be, you know, terrible. But I was in for a surprise. I wouldn't say it was terrible. You know what I'm saying? It was just going up and down those flights of stairs and then getting. I haven't done this in a while, but I think next time i will do movers and this wasn't even you know really heavy furniture but you guys stay tuned for the next video that i have coming um make sure you like the video subscribe uh welcome to my life and i have some more videos coming then you guys see you know just the cleaning process of me leaving the other apartment as well thanks for watching